to a woman who has been an artistic dynamo Woo! in this city. She has brought artists and art lovers together for decades. She has been on the Arts Commission. She's encouraged art. In the very beginning, Marjorie had her studio in one of the carriage houses. Liz Lehrman with the Dance Exchange dancers and Joy Zinneman from Studio Theater was there with her actors. Above Marjorie's studio with studios, studios of their own were Jeffrey Carter, Carol Dyer, where are you? Hello. There you are. <laughs> Suzanne Cody, Margie Berenger, Dennis Stroy, and Carol McKelvey. Then with the amazing talents of Terry Lewis, Bradley Sanders, where's Terry? Terry Lewis, where's Terry? Helped design the gallery, the original one. And Robin Ray Job, my first work, the closest characters, including myself and Tina Singleton, where is Tina? We built Marjorie Goldberg's vision. The beautiful, one-of-a-kind, two-story Zenith Gallery at 15th and Rhode Island Avenue. Next to Marjorie's shop, we could be covered in wood dust one minute and be dressed and ready for an opening an hour later. Zenith evolved. Liz and Joy moved on to create their own artistic empire. Yeah, we're working on guys would see who got the work. We thought, wouldn't it be cool to renovate the four townhouses on Rhode Island Avenue and turn those into studios as well? Okay. <laughs> it didn't hurt that our wild and artsy landlord, Stuart Block, was one of the Where? best kind of landlords, an art collector who bargained. <laughs> Zenith Square was born. Four townhouses and two carriage houses filled with studios. It was an artist's dream. None of it was possible without Marjorie Goldberg. She has been a phenomenal... Where is she? There she is. <laughs> Hi. I personally don't know what I would have done without her. I owe her so much. She is an artist's artist and one-of-a-kind person. Thank you, Marjorie, for being here. <laughs> Who has been an artistic dynamo Woo! in this city? She has brought artists and art lovers together for decades. She has been on the Arts Commission. She's encouraged artists. She's gotten art placed in all kinds of venues other than just the gallery. And I wish her, this is not an ending, this is a continuation and a beginning for more wonderful art experiences via Marjorie with her friends and her artists. And we love you and wish you all the best. So,
I did you. She said, no, it looks like okay. there's being an All right, I'll take your word <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was quite a rousing uh, presentation well, you gave. Thank you. <laughs> and look who's oh now that's a that's a good twosome right there. Oh, that is a good. <laughs> we, we have some we know it. Really? We, know we have it. some good. Yes, really? yes, we know it. Yes. Well, why don't you introduce yourselves by the by the way while you're at I'm it? I'm Carrie so. Bedard and. Karen Sturica, and you know me, because well, we, we met uh, years ago. Well, I get the impression that you're both creative types. Yes, we are. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah, you know I'm good with money. Well, right? <laughs> <laughs> he actually money. interviewed me when I did the uh, project as an architect when I was... Uh, in Silver Spring. In Silver Spring, the Hilton. And Hilton. What, what press are you with? What you I'm with the press press, can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes you the can. Washington Star. Oh, How's that? And, and, and we're dear friends of Margie. Yes, we Margie are. is the biggest heart and the best person we know. Uh, okay. Of course. Oh, <laughs> there's more friends. More friends. Uh, more here. You're an artist. Uh, uh, artist from uh, yeah. The Baltimore artist. Oh, they actually yeah. showed here. Oh, oh really? Show and you here. are? Ernest Cronin. Good to meet you. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Like this. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really fun. Nice. It's fun. And you got the start. Oh, wow. This is my heart. Oh, really? This is my heart. Wow. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What's it feel like to, uh, I know this must be uh, a bit of a sorrowful feeling. It is a sorrowful feeling, and I think that sorrowful feeling will sink in more and more as it actually happens. Do you have some favorite pieces here that you're going to miss most? I mean, just there's so much, so well, much good work here. She is continuing, mm -hmm. and um, and she will still be connected with most of these artists, yeah. and I'll still be working with her. So good. I don't, yeah, I'm not. It's feeling, just going to be different space. A loss there, just a yeah. different space for home, and mm -hmm. not exactly Seventh Street, but right. Yeah, but you, you're a faithful companion. You're going to be there, right? Oh yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. You gonna help her move all this stuff? Yep, ah. I'll be there doing that. All yeah. right, well, good. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Whatever uh, you're gonna be, in. you're gonna actually be in Upper Sixteenth Street, right? Yeah. So she, we're in. She is Upper Sixteenth Street. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have a good time up there, make things happen. Yeah. Write a stimulus check somehow, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And make it happen. <laughs> well, beautiful. You have worked so hard to be at this point. So hopefully, this will turn out to be the best move for you. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good move. I think it's all going to... When are you planning on reopening? The plan is, in a couple of years, it's probably more like three or four years. Really? A new hotel that's being built. I'm not sure they've broken ground yet. Yeah. But it's definitely, it's a definite plan. Um, Fifth and I. Okay. Yeah, I know about that. That's going to take a while. Yeah, yeah. I know about that project. While, yeah. Big deal, isn't it? So you're going to have to follow her in her new... I would be more than happy to do that. Yes. I'd be more than happy to do that. She'll be showing up all over town, different places. Good. Just not... Good. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Okay, we'll see you there. That's what I call a promotion.